Welcome! In this video, we would like to show you how to record a dictation with the Dicta 420 dictation device from Grundig Business Systems. We will also explain how to play back a dictation, insert a passage into an existing dictation, and delete a dictation. We will also show you how to switch on the easy mode on the device. Here, buttons only have the basic functions for dictating. The display has a very clear design. The easy mode uses the settings from full mode such as microphone sensitivity and listen workflow. The Dicta 420 control elements. First, we would like to show you the individual buttons and switches on the device. On the left is the on-off switch, labeled with off, hold, and on. On the right side of the Dicta 420, you can see the black fast forward button and the slide switch. The slide switch has four functions, recording, stop, play, and rewind. In addition to these functions, the Dicta 420 has two selection buttons, two navigation buttons, and a new button for recording a new dictation. Recording a dictation. We would now like to show you how to record a dictation. First, slide the off-on switch down to the on position. Grundig Business Systems appears in the display and the name of the configured author. A short signal is emitted. Then the standard display appears. The battery status is shown at the top right corner of the display. Underneath you can see how much recording time is available to you and the microphone sensitivity your device is set to. The current time is shown at the top right corner provided you have already set it. You can see the menu sign in the bottom right corner of the display. Now click on the new button. You can see that your Dicta 420 is ready to use from the red blinking LED light at the top of the display. In the display, you will now see a sign for pause on the left, which is the actual function, as well as the name and number of the dictation. Now slide the switch from the stop to the recording position to start recording. The recording starts. You can now see the LED flashes red all the time. A red circle also appears in the display on the left, which stands for recording. The length of the dictation and dictation position are shown in the bottom right corner of the display. Now you can dictate your text. To end the dictation, move the slide switch to stop and then press the left selection button. The LED light goes off and the dictation length is shown continuously. Playing back a dictation. Select the desired dictation with the navigation buttons. You can play back the dictation by moving the slide switch to play. Inserting a text passage into an existing dictation. Now we would like to demonstrate how you can insert a text passage into an existing dictation. Move the slide switch to play to listen to the desired dictation. Then move the slide switch to stop during playback when you've reached the desired position of the dictation where you want to insert a new text. Now press the left selection button. This opens the modify menu. Confirm the insert item by pressing the right selection button. Then confirm the insert part item with the right selection button. You can now insert the passage in the existing dictation. The LED flashes and the sign for insert appears in the display. Now slide the switch from the stop to the recording position to start recording. The recording starts. The LED now lights up all the time. Move the slide switch to stop and press the left selection button to finish the insertion. Deleting a dictation. We would like to show you how to delete a dictation. If you have already saved several dictations, then select one of them with the navigation buttons. Click on the left selection button for the dictation you want to delete. The modify menu opens. Now select the delete item with the navigation buttons. Confirm by pressing the right selection button. Confirm by clicking twice on the right selection button. The dictation is deleted. Switching to easy mode. We would now like to show you how to switch on the easy mode on the Dicta 420. The buttons here have the most important functions for dictating. To switch on the easy mode, press the new button. Move the switch to on and press the new button at the same time until the Grundig Business Systems logo appears in the display. 
you can now see that the device is in easy mode by the different display. To return to full mode, first switch the device off. Press the new button and then hold on pressing it while you move the switch to on. The device is now back in full mode again. You are now familiar with some of the basic functions of the Dicta 420. Grundig Business Systems hopes you enjoy dictating.